Okay, so I am Caleb the Designer. Check me out, CalebTheDesigner.com, and this is a Joomla 1.5 tutorial on how to put content on your website, manage content on your website um, yourself without calling a designer or web developer like me to do it for you. You know, because we might charge. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get right on to it. This is my website right here. Um, I made this a while ago. Um, you can see it has cool things on it. Anyway, that's not the point. Uh, we're going to start and I'm going to use this site, Begin Advertising, as an example. Um, it's actually a company I've been working for. i um, pretty blessed to work with Heath. He's the, the owner and CEO. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. Check him out. They do t-shirts, embroidery, and graphics. You know, They do really cool t-shirt designs and really good high you know, quality printing for t-shirts and things like that. But um, anyway, let me go ahead and knock this out I don't want to run out of time uh, so go ahead and log in to your back end I'm already in but I'm gonna log in just so you can see me do it um, so you're gonna go ahead you should see this whenever you want to log into your back end you go to your URL right now this is begin advertising dot com slash administrator don't worry about the rest of it um, just as long as you get administrator in there you'll be okay um, you go ahead put your username Log in, and you should see your back end. So you have some options here. You add add a new article, article manager, front page manager, section manager, and you can read the rest. But um, first, like I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm trying to knock this out. Um, this is mainly for my clients. Um, if you're not a client, that's cool. You know, you can watch it too. Um, but I just want to make sure that you get this the first time. You, you can either take notes or you can rewind the video back you know the power of technology but um let's go ahead and get into it like I said what we are creating is an article um different ways of of you know keeping content um would you probably see this as a regular web page you know this page right here is just a you know it's a it's a page with a nice little graphic you know a few girls you know on there and a guy you know looking on fly and things like that um uh, this is actually made by an intern, Marcus. Uh, he was interning with us for about 11 weeks. He made this really cool graphic. He did a lot of the images on the site for Begin Advertising because we just didn't have time to do it ourselves. Um, anyway, so how do we do this? How do we put this together? How do we get this this page to look the way it does? How do we get content on here? That's what we need. That's what we, you want to know. Um, so that you don't have to call me or your web designer um, You know to make a simple change in Joomla you can go in and do it yourself you know as long as they give you the administrator uh, login and things like that which I always do give you an administrator login for yourself so you can get in and you can do whatever you need to do on the site so um, let's go ahead and get into it um, we have apparel we're gonna we're gonna do with apparel yeah we're gonna do the apparel page and you can see it's on the menu it's on the main menu and so uh, let's go ahead and go to the back end again um, it's actually um, Joomla has a kind of a different different language for these things. Most people call this, you know, another uh, web page um, for this page, but it's actually called an article. Um, all these things are called articles. Uh, even this one is kind of an article. It's a little different, more complicated. Um, it's actually a plugin by Ignite Gallery. Um, you can ask me about that. Uh, it's kind of just a slideshow. It's not really an article. I'm not going to get into that. Just wasting time. So, get back to the apparel. It's an article. Um, another example, so you can kind of get, you know, has a lot of graphics on that one. Uh, my website, if we go to news, you see, you know, I have like different updates, things like that. Um, all these different things are articles. If I click on one, like this, I'm going to hit read more. You can see, you know, it has pretty much everything in there. It has a few graphics of an intro I did for Champion Life Center. You know, a really cool Iron Man intro I made in After Effects. And you have some text up here, you know, a little description, things like that. This is what an article is. This is a complete article. You can showcase part of an article and add read more or whatever, you know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. How do we do this? We first, every article needs a category and every category needs a section so you go to your section manager under your menus go to content section manager you click on that and then we can go ahead and make a new section let's do that you add your title new section 
I'm just making things up. That's all you need to do. You hit save. That's a wrap. You probably, if if you're my client, you're not gonna have to worry about this because I already have your section set up. You might want to add a category if you want, if you have a lot of things going on, but you usually won't need it. Um, so we're gonna go to content again. We're gonna go to category. Like I said before, this is one part you really need to get is that every section has ca are categories within the section and every category has articles within the category so now we're in the categories all these categories are under begin the begin category that I had before so now we're gonna make a new category and we're gonna put it under the other uh, section that we made so we're gonna call this new cat short for category you can have it published you see right here under your sections you wanna make sure you put it under the right section we have three section um, options we have examples begin a new section and these are the ones that I made up myself so we're gonna hit new section is the one we just made you hit save that's a wrap next we're gonna go to an article because our articles are within the category so you hit article manager and you see right here I have a lot of articles um, one way you can narrow it down is to go over here as your option you see select section select category it's kinda like a filter you can kinda filter out what you don't want so we want the actually we can do second we want the new section category no section we want the new section section you hit new section it'll refresh and right now you see there's no articles because we don't have any articles right now so we're about to create one but let me exit out this a little quick to show you um with these x's and check marks the x, the red x means that it's not published or it's pretty much like you know uh like on the front page you see this red X because it's not on the front page welcome is on the front page so there's a check which is this article over here this big graphic right here is the welcome graphic and so that's the welcome article and that's on the front page and that's why that's checked off the rest of these are not and um, if you want to publish all you gotta do is click on these to switch it it switches from published to unpublished you click on it it's unpublished you click on it again it's published again real simple straight to the point um, let's go ahead and get into an article again um, to make a new article you hit new and you can add a title you hit the section we want it to be in the new section and then it automatically put it in new cat because it's only one category on the section on the, under this section right now if you have more sections there will be more options for you and another place uh, you see published unpublished front page not front page so you can set that there too now kind of under here under the article manager uh, pretty much the editor and you can type in whatever you want to edit type in I'm just gonna copy some because I don't have time uh, control C to copy if you did not know you paste it in there you straight um, that's pretty much all you need to do. You can paste text in there. Sometimes paste and put in text in there is complicated. I've had a few problems with pasting text in from Word. It for some reason wants to add all this automatic coding, and it's not cool. Um, but I mean, hey, um, if you have any problems, let me know. So um, you can just type it in. You can edit things. You can make it bold up here. You hit bold, or you can make it italic and bold, or neither. You can make it justify right left it looks terrible I know it's okay <laughs> um, if you want to put a hyperlink and video you know so you go to another page you can also do this with a picture you hit enter hyperlink right here is what this button is you put in your hyperlink I'm gonna you know copy a, a link real quick and you put it where do you put it oh hyperlink I'm oh, a hyperlink one way okay you put it in the link URL your target you make sure it's under open link in same window if it's going to the same site that you're already in if you want to go to an outside site like Facebook you want to put new windows so that they always stay within your site you can put a title doesn't matter here blah 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 you'll just see when I hover it like that you see that that's a wrap for that one and you can also add pictures um, if you want to your article and all you gotta do is go to the bottom, hit image, and you find your folder. All these uh, images are in your directory, which I will show you in a second. You click on one of the images or the folders. Right now, mine is in the folder that I want to get, so I'm just gonna use um, 
this one as an example pretty cool yeah so it's there um, all you gotta do is hit apply to save it um, and it'll keep you on the same page if you hit save it will take you out into the article manager again and then you just go um, that's pretty much it um, you can add a hyperlink to that too hit the same button you click on the on the on the picture you hit hyperlink you add your hyperlink here or you can either like the video clips has a hyperlink already I can break it by hitting that bu hitting this button and it goes away and I don't want to do that but whatever it doesn't matter is it there I don't know um that's pretty much it adding an um, article oh uh, now you need to know how do I get this article on my front page so I'm going to have to show you that in another tutorial in the next one. So check out part two because I'm running out of time for this tutorial. So um, be right back and I'll see you next time.